The rest of the drive. Start here. Look out! Slammed into the ground. Michael Bennett with the sack. Damn! A cell. A cell. A cell. A cell. A cell. A cell. Hey, 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 what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Lord Kell. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so let's talk about something, man. So, because I'm getting tired of the whole debate. Because every time I walk in, because I stay in Texas, my family's full of Cowboys fans. So, you already know, every time I walk in, it's like, take that shit off. Like, I'm like, nah. Like, nah, because Cowboys suck. Ever since I was born, I'm 24, the Cowboys ain't won shit. They've only won three playoff games. They ain't been to no conference championship game. Ain't been to no title games, for real, for real. Ain't been to no Super Bowls. But the Eagles out here, bro, we won 10-plus playoff games with the six championship games. If you remember, if you were a football fan, you know from 1999 to 04, we went to four straight. We went to four straight. You know what I'm saying? Four straight NFC championship game. I ain't been a jack shit since 95, 96. I was born 94. So you take, I mean, like you do the math, a quarter of a century, many moons ago, eons ago, two and a half decades ago, y'all ain't, like y'all have not been relevant, but yet y'all still call America's team. Y'all let Tom Brady come to the league in 2000 and win six Super Bowls on y'all ass. <laughs> it was funny is, y'all call y'all America's team, but y'all have, Yet to see Tom Brady in a playoff game. We seen him twice. I don't get it. We seen the greatest super seen the greatest quarterback of all time in the postseason, in the regular season, in any season. Fall, fall, winter, spring, summer. Quarterback of all time. We seen him twice in the play uh, uh, twice in the Super Bowl. Y'all ain't seen him once. And every time y'all play him, he whoop y'all ass. And you know this! Man! So, I don't get... Okay, I'm gonna just throw numbers at y'all now. Because y'all like to hear facts. Because I'm just spewing spewing hot air to y'all now. Or, or, I'm just spewing what y'all consider hot air. So, let me just get the numbers here. Okay, pro football focus from last year. Our quarterback is better than y'all. Was better than y'all besides playing less games. He played 11 games, got 21 touchdowns, 7 interceptions. Y'all quarterback played all 16 games and only got 22 touchdowns and 8 interceptions. And no, I don't want to hear about, oh no, oh no, because Zeke ran the ball more. Bullshit. Bullshit. Because, because if y'all going to say Dak is a better quarterback than Carson Wentz, walk it to him, then, then, Dak should, then Dak should be able to have like the skill to put up better numbers. You know what I'm saying? Russell Wilson had a better run game than y'all, but yet he still threw over 30 plus touchdowns, almost 4,000 yards, man. So I don't want to hear none of that, bro. Say that shit. Say that shit. Man. Yeah, so, so, yeah, so, like, according to pro football focus, man, Dak Prescott had, like, number 20 in, uh, in quarterback rank. Carson Wentz was, I think, number 11. He was just at, like he was just barely outside the top ten. And y'all can go check Pro Football Focus. Called me on that. He's at eleven or number thirteen, one of the two. But but like I know Dak Prescott is is like at least uh, seven positions below that. So quarterback is better than y'all, which is the main component of any football team. Y'all got us on Zeke because I mean Zeke, I mean Zeke is a freak. Zeke Zeke is the freak. Zeke. Zeke is the reason y'all didn't make the playoffs last year. Because Zeke is y'all offense. The offense run through Zeke. The Cowboys' number one priority in the offseason was, was extending Zeke. They are still debating Dak if they want to give him the contract or not. So, I don't even know if half-ass on whether he want to give Dak Prescott a contract or not. We got Jordan Howard, who's number three since 2016, Zeke's rookie year in rushing yards. And he would have been number two, but... A, but due to the new coaching scheme of Matt Nagy wanting to have a receiving back kind of scheme with the Swiss Army knife Tariq Cohen, his yards and his production kind of slipped a little bit this year. Because if you look at his stats, he had more receiving yards than, than his past two seasons combined. You can check the stats for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Longest run was this year, and he had, he had over 2,100 yards from scrimmage, which was more than his past two seasons. So... 
he would have been number two if he would have just uh, kept his production actually running the ball. Because Jordan Howard wasn't that far from Todd Gurley. So quarterback, check. Running back, okay, y'all got us in that, but barely. Wide receiver, Alshon Jeffrey, Nelson Aguilar, Deshaun Jackson. Better, is way better than any receiving core y'all got. D line, let's not get started on that. I mean, like y'all might. I mean, like y'all about to lose. I think two of y'all's uh, D line, Randy Gregory and David Irving, because they can't stay. stay off the weed. You know what I'm saying? So let's not even go on there. D line's better than y'all. Secondary's better than y'all. Y'all's y'all's linebacking core. I mean, can't even argue with that because y'all got that one because Van Der Esch and the Wolf Hunter, and then y'all putting Sean Lee at the outside linebacker position. So. Yeah, you know, like y'all guys in that, but I'm just saying in major categories we stomp y'all. And don't even get me started on Coach Clap. He been coaching the Cowboys going on his what nine, ten season, and he has no Super Bowl ring. Now I get what y'all about to say. Oh well, because he got Nick Foles. Well, why didn't he draft a quarterback that can win them Super Bowl? So I don't see what the debate is. How Cowboys are better than the Eagles? And, and like y'all love to bring up five Super Bowl rings, but a lot of y'all weren't even there for the Super Bowl rings. Now, respect to the Super Bowl rings, those are very good, but I'm saying, but a lot of y'all weren't there. If you're 25 and under, you cannot claim those five Super Bowl rings. And even for you older motherfuckers, man, like, like the question is, what have you done for your fan base lately? It's been 24 years. A lot of you 50-year-old motherfuckers have kids in their 20s that have never seen the Cowboys win anything. They can never join you in having a beer with you because the Cowboys won a major Super Bowl. They can never celebrate that with you. They're, like, they're just grandfathered in. You know what I'm saying? You know how sad that is? <laughs> I don't claim our championships from the 40s and 60s. I don't claim our Super Bowl appearance in 1980, but I can claim the one we had in 04 when we seen Tom Brady. Y'all didn't see Tom Brady. I can claim all the playoff appearances. I can claim a lot of the titles we won. I can claim all of that. What can y'all say y'all claim? I can claim the one we had just, like just recently because I was there for it. So I'm just saying, man, like y'all need to stop with all that bullshit.